Thousands march in the streets of Amman towards the Prime Minister's residence, chanting, we are coming. It's the fourth night of protests. They're demanding the resignation of Hany al Mulki over his plans to increase taxes. The government must step down. The tax law must be withdrawn. These are our demands. And we don't want the next government to implement the same policies either. If the government doesn't respond to our demands, then there will be a general strike on Wednesday, just like the one last week. We will be calling for the government to step down because we do not want a government pressured by external involvement. We need a government that represents the nation. Government sources now say King Abdullah will meet the Prime Minister on Monday, where he and other members of Jordan's government are expected to submit their resignation. Jordan's been under international pressure to cut spending to deal with its $37 billion debt. That's equivalent to 95% of the country's annual output. It borrowed $723 million from the International Monetary Fund two years ago to cope with its economic slump. Jordan's also struggling to house and support 2.7 million refugees from neighboring conflicts, more than a third of the entire population. These Jordanians understand their countries and financial difficulties. What they don't understand is why they're being asked to pay the bill. Mohamed Al-Bardisi, Al Jazeera.